Welcome everyone. Welcome. I am Christy Warnick and I'm a spiritual healer, teacher, and I love helping people with transformation and also through inspiration too. So the page here where this video is live from is, is really so much about inspiration to transformation. And it's, it's just something that I, I'm inspired to do. So, uh, and I have here with me today, Marcy Newman. So she and I have recently connected and collaborated through her podcast and just, it was, it's just been a wonderful, I just love connecting with different people and collaborating with different people. And it's such a, a wonderful thing that we get to do here. And so I just want to introduce to you all, uh, Marcy Newman, and I'm going to get Marcy, I'm going to ask you to let people know a little bit about yourself and we'll talk a little bit about what the podcast is. And also, uh, I had a couple other questions about like heart shifting and what it, what is that? And, and also the high vibe tribe. So we, we're just going to kind of include a lot of things in today, including the podcast is coming up this week. So welcome Marcy. Thank you so much, Christy. And thanks for the opportunity to share all the things that I'm doing on my end. And of course, to share you as well. As you said, we've been collaborating and I think that this is really um, such an important thing for us to talk about, how important collaboration is when you find those like hearts and minds. Mm -hmm. And so a little bit about me, I've been in this work for Hmm. over 45 years. Um, I actually started back in the 70s when I was a graduate nurse. I also was ordained as a spiritualist minister. So I was trained in hands-on healing, mediumship, and worked with a trance medium. And so I've just had this incredible experience, my actually whole life long, of recognizing that spirit is always working through us. And when we learn to get in alignment with hearing that voice and following our hearts, well, we have no limits. And so my being here today is actually a wonderful example of that because of course I've had many other phases of my life where I've done other things but always throughout, no matter what it was, there was this thread of recognition that I was part of something much greater than myself that I could access at any time that I wanted to. Of course, with anything else, the more you use it, the more um, you have the adaptability and you become stronger in that ability. And so I'm very blessed in that Everything in my life now is a full expression of my relationship with spirit. And I am truly blessed. And I believe that I am a blessing, quite frankly, to all those that I meet. And so I'm so happy to be here today. We're going to talk about the podcast that Christy is a guest on. And as a matter of fact, I just want to um, give you a little heads up that her interview will be launched this Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. And there's something very special about being on that broadcast when it's launched. There's, it's like an energy that just comes out um, so fast out into the universe. And so um, we had a wonderful time doing that. And that's all part of the High Vibe Tribe. And so all of you here on Facebook, I invite you to join me there because what it is, it's a community of like minds and like hearts, people of all ages um, from all over the world. And each of us knows that we are here as part of spirit. And so the High Vibe Tribe is a place where you will receive the support for not only maintaining your high vibe, but of course, to continually raise it so that we can be of greater service to the world. And so Christy, with that, it was a big long stream. I'm gonna hand it over to you and let's just talk about all the wonderful things that um, we want to share today. 
Yeah, absolutely. So thank you. Thank you for sharing that. And so I just I'll check in with the comments really quickly. I just want to say hello to Lynn is here with us and um, Hi, Lynn. or Tanya. Tanya and uh, Riaz is here. Yes. And um, we've got someone else here. There's there's some long. I'll go back and read those those comments later. But um, yeah, anyone that's joining us here, uh, you welcome to say hello and let us know where you're from. And also, um, I guess my question was, and, and what I found interesting was the heart shift um, part of this. And, and and what exactly, you know, a little bit more about that. Uh, I was just really interested in that. I like the way that that sounds and just kind of flows. And so I was going to ask you a little bit about that. Thanks, Christy. So first off, for everyone, I'm known as the Heart Shift Coach. And you can also find my professional page on Facebook as the Heart Shift Coach. And the Heart Shift is a process that I've created really as a culmination of those 45 years in service. And what I realized is that there is always an element of the need for the recalibration of the energy that surrounds the heart. In fact, I look at it as sort of a holding center. And it's where the energy that's looking to, I'm going to use the word heal, um, but it's actually just looking to come back into the light, sort of sits and waits for us to pay attention to it. And so my heart shift process is the, um, the transformation of that energy and how the actual mechanism of the heart and all of the universal principles of energy, the laws that have been put into place so that we can rely on them at all times to help us to transmute energy that is no longer serving us. And so the heart shift process is exactly that. And there are, of course, many components to it, but it's really so much simpler than you might think. Mm -hmm. Of course, it begins with intention, right? We have to have the intention to raise our vibrational frequency. And that's exactly what we do with the heart shift. We're letting go of all of that dense energy that keeps us close to the earth and it prevents us from really being in the consciousness of more light being infused into our lives. Mm -hmm. And so what's remarkable about the heart shift is that it is used for any aspect of dis-ease. So this can be used for physical, mental, emotional, psychological, um, aspects of healing because there is this center point of consciousness of all of our energy. When we reconnect with that, everything that was out of alignment simply dissolves and moves away. So the heart shift is extremely powerful and like us, it has no limitations. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And and that was part of the the topic or, or one of the suggestions for the, the broadcast that's coming up on or the, the podcast that's coming up on Wednesday was really living beyond beliefs. So that's living beyond the, the limitations, too. And so this it really does kind of all flow together. Um, and and it's it's interesting how people, there's so many different ways that we can discuss things and, and, and talk about things. And, and I, I call them possibilities because they're just that everyone has their own beliefs and their own, uh, processes, their own, uh, you know, perspectives, perceptions, things like that. And so, so yeah, so when I do these, these, videos, these shows, these broadcasts, it's, um, it really is about possibilities because that way it leaves it open to 
you know, for, for each person, it's going to be different, you know, to interpretation because um, they're going to have their own interpretation of things. And so it's really honoring that and and just, you know, pe because like I said, people are, are definitely open to possibilities. But yeah, they they some people are, are holding on to a certain uh, things being a certain way and um, it and it's really is what if what if things could you know what if, what if you could allow things to be and be okay with things being different than what you thought or believed and and it really can be a uh such a wonderful wonderful thing when we absolutely allow these shifts and things to happen yep and that was one of the things that i loved about the interview that we did together that will be um, broadcast on Wednesday. And by the way, that is June 29th. Um, I realize that people will be watching this at other times during the, the years. So um, what's important, I think, is something that actually you brought up. And that is, is that so often we think that we need to be in control of how things are going to unfold. We think that we need to be in control of every aspect of our lives. And yet, one of the things that we talked about in the interview is how really incredibly powerful it is to find that control actually in a place of surrender. Mm -hmm. It's a real paradox. But so much of you know what spirit life is all about is just that. And it's because we're constantly shifting between um, our mind and our heart, right? The human aspect of us and the aspect of us that is divine. And so this, this concept of possibilities and endless possibilities is something that the human mind can't wrap itself around. And that's why I bring people into their hearts. And that's what you described to Christy about what you found in your own journey. And giving yourself permission, permission to try things on, permission to have a taste of this, have a taste of that. And in fact, I actually also want to invite people on August 6th, um, this year, 2020, I'm launching a television program on Awake TV Network. And the name of the program is The Spirit of Healing Unleashed. It's going to be at 7 o'clock on Thursday evenings. Um, that's Eastern Standard Time. And Christy, I know that you've been a host on that network mm -hmm. as well and have so many wonderful programs there in the um, library. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things that's so important for our, um, our guests to understand is that what's so unique about this time is that you have an incredible amount of information at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Christy has so many shows that are talking about really important things um, on Awake TV in the library there, her shows here. Um, what I've done, we have these incredible opportunities right here and right now that open up the fields of possibility in a way that I think probably has never been open to us before. And so I want to encourage everyone to take advantage of this and to know that each and every one of us is a unique expression, but we all have within us the very same connection to spirit. And so that's where our endless potential lies. Yes, Awake TV Network is such a wonderful platform, a wonderful network. And Amanda, they're such a, oh goodness, uh, she and it's I. Have, awesome. Yes, she and I have, have known each other for I don't know. It's it's been over a year now, and and it's been such a pleasure knowing her and and working with her. She and I have done. Uh, we've collaborated before, and I had uh, Healing Your Way to Enlightenment show, which 
like you said, are still archived there at yeah. Awake TV Network. I took this season off to um, to really allow the uh, just other shifts and changes to to take place and 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 to also what's what I'm being inspired to do is is to come back to Awake TV Network with a a, a different show um a different title a, you know just a different overall vibe to it i did two seasons of healing your way to enlightenment and then i was like there's there was just um like i said things are always changing and that's one of the things that we many things that we discussed in the interview that's coming up is when you um are okay with change and the unknown too wow it's amazing when you start and you can start just small like if something happens just go that's okay you know it's okay and and then you can kind of shift that energy so that it's not this oh my gosh this is right or wrong or this or that you can just it's okay and from that okayness there's just clarity there's more of you just you can make better choices different choices um things like that that can really start to make a difference and and allow that transformation in your life and i love what you said about how this when you give yourself permission to open up to change. And it's something I know that often gets a bad rap, right? People think, oh, I don't like to change. But the truth is, is that change is taking place within you at all times. Whether you whether you, like <laughs> it or not, whether you want it or not, it's inevitable. It's, of it's a constant. And change is great because it takes you to your next level. You're always up leveling. How do we know that? At one time you were two years old. At one time you were an infant and couldn't walk, couldn't speak, couldn't feed yourself. And so the point that Christy brings up is so important because as we evolve as humans, as we step into um, the discovery of who we are and our capabilities, well, you want more. You want to express it more. And you also want to keep feeding that energy because we as light beings, as divine beings here, we feed on light. Okay, so we are constantly seeking it out. Your higher self is always sort of dishing it out for you, showing you exactly where to find it. And when we start to listen, really listen to the urgings of our heart, we start to live a life that some people might call magical, but it's actually quite scientifically understandable because the laws of energy and nature are always at work. Yeah, so it is, it's more such a, a wonderful concept, isn't it? Yeah, and and it is. It really is natural because I know at right after you and I, we recorded the broadcast um, on on Monday, and and right after that, I jumped on here and and did a video because I just th there was that inspiration that was flowing, and so as that was flowing, I was just you know just felt inspired to to jump on here and and share some things that had just been kind of um you know at play and and it yeah it just kind of it just flowed and it was such a wonderful thing and so i'm just uh encouraging people to follow that inspired inspiration that inspired action where is that going to lead you where is that going to take you and it doesn't the unknown doesn't need to have to be a scary thing what if it's a a wonderful thing full of surprises and adventure and and it can be mysterious it always will. <laughs> yeah. instead of scary um because i know that so many people they you know that it it has previously been possibly for certain things um uh, maybe a little bit scary for them and but what it what if it could be something different um and so i look at it as like the unknown being kind of like a gift and you're given something and, and let's say someone gives you a gift and it's all wrapped in this pretty package and everything and it really doesn't matter what the package looks like but 
it's kind of like you're given this gift and and you don't know what's inside but are you going to be you know too scared to open it or do you want to open that gift and see what's inside and that's kind of how the unknown can be and so what if you could change that perspective about that and so that that would help change so much and so so yes yeah, so we just encourage you to really allow that to um to be shown to you to be revealed for you um let me just check in right here if anyone has any questions you can put them in the comments and uh, we'll check in with those right before we finish up here today but i just want to say hello to a couple other people that have joined us and uh hello casey and um riaz is saying yeah south america we've got i mean people join love learning more about energy with the universe absolutely kathy thank you and uh Kirath here also south it's south africa here and so uh people joined from all over the world and that's a wonderful thing that we get to connect with people all over uh, it's global and so it really is a, a just a beautiful thing so let's see okay so Kathy's got a question here maybe we can help answer this how do you get rid of an energy block so I I'm gonna jump in if you don't mind absolutely okay um, I think the most important thing to understand is that an energy block um, is nothing more than an indication that the energy has um, become dense because it's further away from the source of light. It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. It doesn't mean that you're a terrible person. It doesn't mean that, you know, you are doomed to unhappiness. What it means is that the energy has become dense because it has it has wandered further away from the source of light. Mm -hmm. So in order to release that block, first of all, and I know my clients, when I first introduce this to them, they often laugh out loud, but you know what? Invite it forward. It's coming forward, it shows itself to you because it's ready to be released. Mm. Invite it to come forward. Let it come forward in all of its fullness. Ooh, I just got God bumps as I was talking. And this is your gift. You are a healer. You already have all of these systems inside of you. And so the moment that you sort of get the tools to tune in and turn them on, this is where you become unlimited. So these blocks simply are there to remind you, number one, come back to the light, okay? And you know exactly how to do that. Number two, invite it forward. It's all part of the whole cosmic energy source. So as I said, it just sort of wandered away, bring it forward, give it exactly what it's asking for. And what is that? Love, 100% of the time. You know, A Course in Miracles talks about all experiences falling into two categories. It's either the call for love or the answer to the call. So when you start to orient yourself in that direction, nothing will be fearful to you any longer mm -hmm. yeah yeah and that was the another thing we discussed in in you know that people will be able to to listen to more about is is really about how fear doesn't have to be so real because it really is coming from something that is not actually true right and so the, you that whole know, that whole acronym christy yeah what is fear False evidence appearing real. Yes. And it's an important thing to remember. So what if, what if you had, you know, what if you knew that and you could apply that to things that where there, there may be fear in your life or something like that. 
and then it makes it seem um, not so. It takes away its its power, it takes away you know that that control or that in charge that it sense that it may have had or it seemed to have have been, and and you can also notice that a lot of the any um, blocks that that seem to be there um, will start to just kind of fade away. Absolutely. Yeah, because it it starts to let in more light because you're diminishing this this fear into something that um, is more true versus something that was believed to be. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about reorienting yourself yeah. to truth. Yeah. Yeah. You're so welcome, uh, Kathy. My yeah. pleasure. So if anyone else has any other questions, feel free to put them in the comments. And I just want to let people know before we finish up here today, I'm going to put up here. Um, if you want to find out more about Marcy's, uh, the podcast and, and, and anything else that, that she's up to, you can go to heartshiftcoach.com and also the High Vibe Tribe. A uh, wonderful group uh, if you're interested in joining there. It's uh, Facebook groups at, and you can go to High Vibe Tribes. And mm -hmm. so it's it, actually High Vibe Tribe. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, we'll make sure that the, um, that the proper link, link in, the, in the comments. Yeah. yeah. So when I went to the actual uh, group, that's I copied and pasted that. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, so I want to check into that. I don't know, but you can also just look up High Vibe Tribe and you'll find it. Yeah, <laughs> um, and yeah, because it's it's with Marcy Newman. Yeah, and please join. Um, you're welcome there to share your thoughts, to also provide inspiration for other light workers. Mm -hmm. um, it's really a wonderful meeting place and there's always so much information and so much um, love that comes through that, that tribe. So please join us there. Yeah. So there are so many wonderful communities like that out there available for people. And this is just, it's, it's a wonderful community, a group that where there is such so much inspiration there. And um, and also, if you like and follow this page where this is live from, um, I'll be posting about the the podcast coming up um, probably tomorrow. I'll be posting more about that and letting you know where and when to, to find that as well. And also, I do other videos here as well as daily inspiration. So I do I post every day just some inspirational quotes, but I also find I, I've liked and, and followed so many wonderful um, groups and pages and things like that that I can share from as well. And so I find inspiration and I just share it to to my pages so that and that's one way to really raise the vibration, get your the vibration higher of your your posts and your news feed and your you know, you know social media, things like that is when you really, if you're looking to kind of shift that, uh, is is really finding things that inspire you and liking those pages or, or sharing that post or whatever it is. And that way I have totally changed the newsfeed that, that shows up on my Facebook page. And these are just little tips that you can do to make these changes because if you don't like, uh, political stuff or things going on, um, certain, you know, maybe some negative posts or whatever. You don't have to really react to them, but you can actually click on there and, you know, hide that one. So, and then Facebook picks up that algorithm that, hey, they don't want to see so much of this stuff, but they're liking this stuff. So let's, let's show them more of this. So it really can be customized when you, and you can actually start to customize that for yourself as well. So I just thought I would share that because I found that very fascinating. Uh, it's been a wonderful experience um, noticing how that's changing uh, for me when I did things like that. So, so yeah, and all of my links and information you can find at ChristyWarnick.com. 
Uh, there are some actually some frequency numbers that you can play around with that are on the home page there. There's a free gift link there as well. So you can go there and all these links will be in the comments to this uh, to the original video here. OK, so let's see. We've got another question here. OK, so Riaz has a question. How do you deal with someone who gets attached when you have given healing to them? Do you want to answer this, Marcy? Sure. Yeah. Um, so remember that all things are energetic. OK, um, energy attachments um, only happen when there is a place for the attachment to connect. Mm -hmm. So the work is within you. It is you detaching, you actually um, doing the work energetically. And as you raise your own vibrational frequency, as you shift your frequency of your energy field, that will naturally fall away. However, if you are in any way encouraging the attachment, you really need to examine that. A lot of times that happens um, on a level that's not necessarily conscious. However, I also know as a healer that very often we take on this sense of responsibility for other people's healing. And so that's something that you need to let go of. You actually need to do the work of letting go of any sense of responsibility for that person and the healing that takes place or will take place. The other thing is check in your own field as to how much um, is activated in terms of your concept of being a nice person or, um, you know, treating other people with kit gloves. Um, how you are contorting yourself to make everybody happy. As a healer, it's really important that we start to be very much aware of what programs, what conditioning um, programs are active in us. And so we may think, for instance, that this person is a nuisance, right? They become so attached and they're you know, clinging to you. But in truth, it cannot happen if it's not being fed in some way. Hmm. So again, nothing wrong with you. This is, you know, something that until it comes into your awareness, the ego uses and it uses it to keep you separate from yourself as a divine being that has no need for that level of attachment. Mm -hmm. So we come back to ourselves, we simply examine what's being presented to us, and we understand that as long as we maintain the uh, continual feeding of our vibrational frequency and we actually purpose fully, let that person go with our blessing to go with their own team right and get all the healing that they need you accept that you are a catalyst for healing a facilitator but indeed you are not the healer they are yeah they 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 have that within them just as is it's within you but also that you're that channel to allow that source that pure source energy or that whatever that is to flow through you and and it's it's not actually you as in your mind or any part of that 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 is uh or the subconscious unconscious i guess um that is actually doing the healing itself you're allowing that to flow through and and you can and you get to i like to to so you might want to see if i had checked that as well as and kind of you can shift that need to have to to you get to and that way it doesn't seem like like you said there's not that hold on that responsibility so much another thing is to sweep your energy field you know that's um it's it's a very simple uh system and you just use light to sweep your system and you just keep sort of reinvigorating it Keep your own energy moving. Don't let it get dense or um, 
in a pattern where you're setting up, quite frankly, it becomes a codependency. Okay, so we, we look for any signs of that energy frequency that's activated within us. Just keep sweeping your field, sweep your field, and just keep yourself at the highest level and bless that person on their journey. Just yeah. Rele yeah. release them. Yeah, and, and you can actually just, um, you can return a message to them or whatever, just saying, sending, you know, prayers your way and just uh, let, you know, just letting them know that, um, that, you know, it, it, but you can do so with compassion and love. You can do so, so lovingly and so compassionately. And then also, you know, their reaction and response to that, it has nothing to do with you. When you do this with love and compassion then any reaction or response from them is is their stuff is is their their own stuff it's all, it's all part of the healing yeah and so you can just send them prayers and it may and if they continue then it may take you know blocking them in some way uh if, if it's through facebook that you're connecting with them or something like that you can just send them prayers and love but you can also whether it's unfriend them or sure or block them there's nothing wrong with that that is not um anything wrong with that whatsoever uh i know i've 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 done that several times I, you know it's not i i it's not something that i prefer to do unless it becomes to where it's like okay i did everything you know i've i've sent them you know prayers i just you know ask that and if i notice that that they just kind of sit, keep sending the messages or something like that then, you know, sometimes it does come to that. And that's okay, too. Be okay with that. So don't feel bad about that. Just just let it, you know, just know that you did what you, you know, you got to do what you, you could and, and you did what you could with what you had. And and and, and then it, you, you're turning it over to them. And remember also that your first obligation is your own energy field. You cannot be effective if you are allowing the density to continue to build. And the moment that you notice it, you're obligated. So I'm a little bit more of a warrior there than, than Christy. You're obligated. You need to clean that field. You need to clean that up because as you're in service here to spirit, you must maintain your high vibrational frequency in order to be for the highest good of all. And we start to understand that we all are in service, whether we are doing it as part of our daily job or however it's manifesting, we are in service to spirit. It's what we're doing here. Yeah, yeah. And really also, like, like we did, um, discussed is turning it over like it instead of you know holding on to that say okay god source creator universe all that you truly are whatever that is for you and you can you know say please you know take care of this for me thank you and then let it go that's right yeah so and and that's what she's talking about too cleaning cleansing that energy field is really allowing that pure source energy just to flow through and flush that out and then move on yeah move on so. you know I, I want to give you a little bit of a visual here to help you all mm -hmm. right and if we look at someone like um ama right who is this incredible healer she sits on stage and she maintains her vibrational frequency and thousands of people come through and she is not affected by any of them, nor does she take responsibility for what they do with the energy after she blesses them. Mm -hmm. So this is what you're here to do as well. And this is true, unconditional love, unconditional. You don't have to satisfy my ego. You don't have to satisfy my need to see that you're healing. I am blessing you with love, which is the creative life force energy of the entire universe. And 
you are of no obligation, you as the healer and the recipient, none whatsoever other than to give and receive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So thank you, Marcy, for that. And so it looks like that's all the comments we have for now. So let's uh, wrap this up. Any last uh, words of wisdom, anything else that you would like to share about the podcast, about the group or anything else um, to leave people with? Absolutely. Absolutely. I want, I want to remind you that you are loved and cherished beyond all measure. Mm -hmm. It's something that you must just accept. And when you do, you fully step into your power as the magnificent soul that you have come here to express. And so again, I want to invite you to join us at the High Vibe Tribe. Um, I definitely want to encourage you to tune in to Christie's interview, which will be released on Wednesday, July 29th at 11 a.m. And also to join me at Awake TV on Thursday evenings, 7 p.m. at, uh, and that's Eastern Standard Time, and the show is um, the show is about this exact topic. It is about letting go of what is keeping you separate from you as the healer that you are. And so it is the spirit of healing unleashed. And it all starts with you. So please join me there and all the other wonderful programs at Awake TV. It's like a smorgasbord. It's unbelievable. It's incredible. Yes, it very much so is. So thank you all. Thank you, Kathy. Um, so happy to have uh, been here with you all. And so grateful that you joined us. And yeah so we look forward to having you join us again on wednesday for the podcast and we'll see you all again soon so um i think there yeah tomorrow i will be posting so check back here tomorrow uh sometime tomorrow throughout the day uh for the link for to that we'll be sharing or for the information that we'll be sharing for wednesday's podcast and so, yeah, so I'll be posting that here. So you can check that here. You can check it in the, the High Vibe Tribe. Uh, Marcy will be sharing that information as well. So let's see. I have one more question here. Let's see if we can answer this as uh, just a final thing here. It says, I have noticed I have lost some of my self-confidence in myself. Um, is there anything? And, for, and what's coming out for me um, or, or just kind of coming through with that is really re, reconnecting and really strengthening that relationship with your your true self, your, your natural self, your higher self, whatever you want to call that. Um, but also with that, that higher consciousness, uh, God, source, creator, the universe, when you really um, start to strengthen that that foundation that's when your confidence because you have a confidence coming from that strength coming from that um whether it be love peace joy harmony but also that confidence uh, coming from that knowingness that is there and so it can really help to strengthen that and, and you so any uh, any words for her, Marcy? Um, I think you know you're you're right on, and how that translates is to um, strengthen your daily spiritual practice. If you don't yet have one that you are committed to, I highly recommend that you begin that immediately because that's exactly how you would develop that relationship that Christy's talking about. Yeah. Um, I have found for myself and the thousands of people that I've worked with around the world, this is something that actually is really important that you do in the morning before you begin your day. Yeah. 
The reason for that is, is it sets the vibrational tone and you carry that relationship with you. In fact, it actually precedes you wherever you go. So imagine yourself just constantly like radiating light out and it has a vibrational frequency. And so even before you arrive, it arrives. So when we set our intention to connect energetically with spirit first thing in the morning, what happens is we are declaring that that day is going to be fully in service to spirit and you will start to live life in a way that you cannot even imagine in this moment. It will give you that support that you need and it will constantly remind you, regardless of what happens during the day that might knock you off your, your um, path, that you have something to come back to. And of course, what is it? It is the vibrational frequency that you've set for the day. And what we know is that the law of attraction will respond. What does it do? As you are projecting that energy out, it's going out and it is collecting lots and lots of energy just like itself and will bring it back to you in the most wonderful experiences. And then at the end of your day, you will have so much to be grateful for and you will go to sleep in that whole energy field of dreams that are coming true yeah yeah and and also be okay too when those moments so and 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 not beat yourself up over you know if you if you notice that you your self-confidence is a little low or something like that just be okay with that honor that in that moment and then you can that, have a problem from, us from there you can lift it up yep you can lift it up you have this amazing foundation to come back to that's, you know, some people call that, you know, being centered or there's so many different uh, metaphors and different ways of saying that out there. But find what works best for you to find a, a technique, a practice or something that that can really some people it's Qigong, some people it's meditation, some people it's just being in nature. Some people it's just throughout the day. I'll just, um, you know, it's like talking to, to spirit, too. You can you can have a conversation with that. There, there, you're, you know, there's that relationship that's already there. It's just you're you're just um, you're reminding yourself of that. And also, uh, you know, just throughout the day, just know that that you're you're being supported in everything that you do. You're never alone. That's yeah. right. So you are always there with this amazing source that is unconditional, mm -hmm. unlimited, it's infinite. Uh, it's infinite energy, it's infinite resources, and it's it's there for everyone. That's right. Everyone. Yeah. All right. So we'll, we'll leave, we will leave you with that for today. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you. See you again soon. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. So many blessings to you. Bye-bye. Absolutely.